how long until we reach the planet Earth? We shall reach the Earth in approximately 78 minutes. Have our scouts located the orb? It is hidden below the Andes Mountains in Peru. But we have interference. The Doctor's TARDIS was spotted. As the Doctor left, his TARDIS disappeared. We do not know where it went. Then he is of no concern to us. Did our message go through? Yes. Who responded? A human. The ship was shown to malfunction. The ventilators overheated. All but one cyber suit are offline. That means that the ship fell into the wrong hands. We must find the human. We cannot risk the information getting out. If our first conversion unit has been discovered, we do not have a chance. What will we do? Locate the receiver. We will find him. We will show no mercy. He will be like us. Come on. You can break out. I thought... I've been stuck here for a thousand years. Just open. So three four nine seven two is opening for the prisoners' exercise break. Will all guards nearby please monitor the prisoner? Hey, look at me. No, I. I am the master, and you will obey me. Yes, I will. Now give me your gun. No, I. I will resist. No, you will not resist. Give me your gun. Of... of course, Master. Thank you. Now take me to the teleport, or I will not hesitate to put a laser into your heart. Yes, I will take you to the teleport. Come with me. The Master is in the teleportation centre. Find and detain him. What? Wait, wait. Where am I? Ah! Just need to lock onto my TARDIS. There! Set coordinates and go! Well played, Doctor. But you're not going to get off lightly for that little trick. Right then. I should be able to hack into your TARDIS. If it's still the same Type 40, I should have no trouble. Of course it is. You were always so sentimental. Well then, Doctor. I'll just kickstart your route. And I'll see if I can shut off your TARDIS. Only 17 hours. Not much time, but I'll have to do then. Goodbye, Doctor. Have fun. Why don't you just try and use the sonic? It can't bring anything back to life. So, where are we? Hello? Is anyone in there? You're on our set. We're about to start shooting in five minutes. Or a film set. Maybe we're on a parallel universe? Hang on. That sounds like my dad. Yeah, it does. Your dad isn't a director, is he? No. 
He definitely isn't. Well then, I say we go and take a look. What do they all want? Why are they all staring? Probably because a blue police box just materialised and then people stepped out of it. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Hang on. Is that...? Yes, it is. It's another TARDIS. Hang on. The people standing next to a TARDIS look exactly like us. This doesn't make sense. I mean, I know there are parallel universes with humans, but Time Lords only exist in our universe. Let's go meet them. Hang on. Are you saying that that girl is me? Yes, well, more a copy of you. So, she is how your life could have turned out. She looks a bit older than me. They're probably a few years forward in time here. Let's go and find out. Um, hello. This might be a bit awkward, but are you the Doctor? Well, I play the Doctor, but obviously he's a fictional character. Who are you? I'm not fictional. I'll have you know I'm a 3,000-year-old time time lord. Yeah, I know. I'm an actor currently playing the 15th incarnation of the Doctor. Wait, so... What's this film about me called? It's a TV show, but it's called Doctor Who. Why? Maybe because that's what everyone else says when they meet you. Well, not everyone. I said Doctor What. Then it's what most people say. Who are you two? I'm Lucas. Sorry, but is your name Don by any chance? Yes, it is. And I'm Louise, so I guess that means you're Jenny. Uh, yeah. I am. (laughs) Okay, this is really weird. What the hell is going on? I have no idea. Hang on, does this mean we're fictional in this universe? Uh, yes. I suppose it does. Who came up with the idea for this show? Sidney Newman was the man who started it. William Hartnell portrayed the first Doctor. But, I'm sorry. Think of this from our point of view. Some strangers who look like us have just appeared in a blue box on our set then said they are our characters. I mean, does that sound like something that would happen to you? Actually, don't bother answering that question. If you're who you say you are, then of course it would. Who's the guy over there? He looks like my dad. That's the director. His name is Matthew. That's weird. The parallel universe version of my dad being a film director does not sit well with me. What is going on? I mean, this sounds like one of the scripts we get. Not something that could actually happen. Seb, what's going on? How would I know? Uh, Doctor, could you prove who you are? Well, I would show you the TARDIS, but it's shut down. Can't leave. (laughs) I'm happy just to see it. Our one just has a wallpaper on the back. It is so annoying waiting to shoot scenes in this thing. It's not that bad, and we're never in there for long. I know that, Louise, but surely you also want to see the TARDIS. That it's actually bigger on the inside and not a set in a studio half a mile away. Yes, I would. Let's go then. What do you think? It's a bit dark. Yeah, I can barely see a thing. How's that happening? I thought you died! Uh, Don, what happened in here? The TARDIS died, or at least I thought it did. I think there is a shred of emergency power. The TARDIS seems to be recharging it, so, and if I can find out what caused the power shutdown, I may be able to revert it. Can you at least switch the lights on? You promised us bigger on the inside, but I can't see anything. Emergency power kicking in. That should do it. Oh my god! This is fantastic! It really is bigger on the inside. Bloody hell. (laughs) That was my reaction. Have you found out what happened yet, Doctor? Nearly. Okay. It seemed that the TARDIS was hacked into. But that's impossible. To do that, you'd have to be a... Time Lord. Wait, does that mean it's... The Master? I'm afraid so, Don. I thought you dealt with him. I sent him to the most secure prison in the universe. I thought we would keep him trapped for at least a millennium. Well, where will he be now? I don't know. 
He'll probably try and get back to that cave where we last saw him, but I'm sure he will move forward in time a bit. How much further? It could be anything within 1,000 to 100,000 years since we left Earth. Hang on. If it's only 1,000 years, then my time is surely under threat. It's a possibility. But don't worry. The second the TARDIS begins to work again, we'll leave and go and help. What if we're too late? If the Master is responsible for us being here, he's going to be working as quickly as possible whilst you're out the way. By the time we get back, he could have already got hold of the orb. And if he does, then he'll probably wipe out my home. Don, listen to me. I understand you're worried, but I can't do anything more than what I just said I'd do. It looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a while. Do any of you know where we could stay? Just for a few days? Can you just stay here? I mean, the power is coming back. Okay, so the power's gone. Um, I mean, there's a hotel nearby. We could try and get you in there. That sounds great. Could you take us there now? Yeah, sure. Hang on. Who's closest to the door? I can't see anything. Um, I think I was quite close. Hang on. Ow. Did you find it? Yeah. Yeah, I found it. I cannot believe it. Don's just abandoned us again. Next time we see him, he'll probably be in his late twenties and will have missed out on an entire decade of his life. Now calm down, Penny. I'm sure he'll be back sooner than that. Besides, it only took him like a day in our time. Yes, but it was a whole year for him. He changed almost beyond recognition. I mean, he, he killed somebody. He was talked into it by that doctor, but he still killed her. Penny, what would have you have done in that situation? That woman was a Cyberman. Don was merciful. Anything is better than becoming her. What the hell is that? They're spaceships. What are they doing here? They don't look like the transport ships. What's that on the side? That's not possible. The Doctor said that ship was the only one. Well, clearly he was wrong. Quick, let's get inside and we can put a deadlock on the doors. Put the flat into emergency. That's only meant to protect against the odd meteor shower and we're going to have Cybermen trying to break it down. Henny, it's the best thing we can do. We're not going to let Cyberman into the flat. Okay, I'll put the shutters on the windows. You go and make sure the doors are all deadlocked. I don't know how well it will work, but it's all we can do. Okay, I'll get on to it. What is going on? Yesterday, I was living a normal life, but now... I mean, my son is a time traveller and a year older than we last saw him, and there are Cybermen storming the streets outside. It'll be okay. I'm sure Don will come back soon. Hello? Who's there? We are Cybermen. You will pick up like us. Can you help her? My mum, can you fix her? Yes, we can help. God's version will heal all pain. Okay. I'm opening the door now. Where is she? She's over there. Can you help her? She has been converted. She does not need help. No, 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 she does. She's dead. Please. Help her. Help me. We cannot help her, but we can help you. Huh. What is it? You can become like us. You will be free from mortality, free from emotions, free from your grief. Please. I'll do anything. 
When did you find the conversion unit? One of your ships crashed outside the city. I found this inside and I took it. Is it operational? It should be. Yeah. Then get into place. The conversion shall begin. It is done. The conversion is complete. You are now like us. I understand. Why did you come here? We seek to find the orb of Rassilon. With its power, we could save the universe. By conversing them. That is correct. Where is the orb? Our scouts located it below the Andes Mountains. We are selecting the task force now. I shall go. I will leave the site where no other has ever taken them before. Is the ship ready? It is outside. Then you shall accompany me to the caves. Do we have a route down? A route has been established. So let's go ahead now. The humans are of no importance to us. Penny. It's going to be all right, I promise. How? The Cybermen were already killing people when they arrived. You heard the tales. If they're correct, then the ones who died quickly got lucky. Nothing's going to happen. We've got enough food to last for the next eight years, thanks to their new food regeneration method. What if they do get in, and then they convert us? Our last memory of Don would be him committing murder. Don't worry. We'll see him again. Oh my god, they're outside! Calm down. They can't get in. If they do, we can use the gun. You will come with us? No, we won't. Hostility will not be tolerated. Ah! No! Charlie, please, no! Join us! Never. You will be freed from your emotions. You will live without grief or pain. You just killed my husband. If I join you, I'll be in a worse place than him. This process that makes you a Cyberman, it removes every ounce of your humanity. We are better than humans. We are the next step of your emotions. No. You're an empty shell who has lost everything that makes life worth living. You may be able to avoid guilt, regret, pain, loss and anguish, but if we didn't go through that, then we wouldn't be able to experience the best parts of our lives. You never experience pride, joy, happiness, relief. You don't even get love. If I became you or anything like you, I would be dead. So I'm going to take the quick way out. It's okay. I forgive you. Okay, so the knock of four should do the trick. What? Is that a spaceship? Hello, what are you doing here? Identify yourself. I am the master, and don't worry, I'm fully acquainted with you. The Cybermen. Seems to be very early in your timeline, though. I'd say you were only Model 2 Cybermen. But if you wouldn't mind answering my earlier question, what are you doing here? We are in search of the Orb of Rasselon. We believe it to be hidden at the end of this cave. Well done. You are correct. If you can get past the next three traps, then the Orb is all yours. Stand aside and you will not be harmed. Hang on a moment. I am afraid if you want the Orb, you'll need my help. You see, to get through the first door, you need a Time Lord. And right now, I'm the only Time Lord in this universe. Scan his biological patterns. 
by vascular system detected with regenerating cells. He is a time lord. Then open the doors. Of course. After you. One down, two to go. What is the purpose of this room? What is the task? I believe it has something to do with this piece of paper. What does it say? <clears throat> when he left, we didn't know where he was going. When he got there, we didn't hear from him. He was revered as a god among us. Who was he? Must be a knowledge test. Incredibly simple, but then again, the Time Lords would never miss an opportunity to gloat. What does it mean? What, who does the poem refer to? Omega. That's the answer. Omega. Founding father of Gallifrey. Come on, let's go through. Now that is much more interesting. What is required of you? Well, to get through the next door, one of us has to confess. Confess to what? Anything. But we have to be honest. That's the only condition. What happens if we lie? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Perhaps we should demonstrate on you. If you just step forward and stand there, that's it. Now all you need to do is express your biggest regret. I am Cyberman. I have no regret. I feel nothing. No, we both know that's not true. I think something went wrong with your conversion. But it's alright, because through that door lies the orb of Razalon. The most powerful object in the universe. So come on, confess your darkest secrets and allow the universe to bend to your every desire. Stop there. Now your biggest regret, your darkest secret. SAY IT! Save her. I wish I could. I think it not work. What is this feeling? I'm a Cyberman. I cannot feel. I must not feel. I. What have you done? Your conversion machine failed to remove his emotions. He still feels everything that happened to him. He still re remembers who he was and it burned him up inside. If the human you two once were could see you now, well, I believe it would tear you apart. We are better than humans. Well, you're certainly more subservient, and that's really saying something. In what way are we servants? We seek to save the planet. We are the next state of humanity, stronger and better than our ancestors, who could only dream of having a never-aging body. But you're all the same. No individuality or character to tell you apart from each other. Make it stop. Make it stop. No. You went too far. This is your punishment. <laughs> Last. How long until you lot can get back? I'm not sure. I programmed the Sonic to notify me when the TARDIS is charged, but it could be a few weeks or just a couple of hours. Sorry to ask this, but everything in the show, all those planets, monsters and amazing people, do they actually exist? Well, there's Cybermen, Daleks, the Master, but I don't know about everything that's in the show. Oh, here's one you definitely won't have. Weeping angels. The stone statues that move unless you look at them. Yeah, just when I was shooting with them last week. Oh, okay. Well, do you have Zygons? I haven't had an episode with them, but if you're referring to the big red shapeshifters that the skinny one with the sand shoes kiss, then yeah, I know them. Oh, skinny boys with sand shoes. I like being him. I prefer the one who was exiled on Earth with Unit. Doctor, if all that stuff in the show happened to you, why do you still take people with you who 
universe is nowhere near as fun when there's nobody with you. But you've lost so many people. Rose, Amy, Rory, Adric, Bill, Donna. Surely there's a point where you just don't want to see that happen to anyone else. I have had that feeling before. But the people who travel with me have a choice. It's not like I force them to come or even force them to stay. But why would they leave when they can travel all of time and space? You're old enough to know humans aren't exactly best at making decisions that are good for us. There's no reason you can't. Besides, some do leave on their own accord. To be honest, I always prefer that. Nothing's worse than watching one of your closest friends die. Look, Seb, isn't it? Yes, it is. I have travelled for thousands of years, visited many times, many places, with many different faces. The only constant I have in my life is that there's always someone with me, usually a human, and because of them I've been able to explore the universe in a completely different way. If I had never met Ian and Barbara so, so long ago now, I would still be the same grumpy old man that I was back then. So do you have any idea how this works? No. As far as I see, you're me. But you can't be because you're from a different universe and time. But you act as me. It really is weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. What's it like looking at your creator? Your actor? What's it like looking at your puppet? So how long have you been travelling with him? Just over a year. How long have you uh, been... Uh, play? Me? This is my third series. I was in all of the episodes with the last Doctor. They wanted me to stay to bridge the gap when Tom left. So, what, are you stopping soon? Yeah, I'm leaving after this series finale. I'm really going to miss it. Do you know how I'm leaving? Do I just leave? Or a heartbreaking goodbye that is talked about for decades after? Or do I get to have a heroic death? Spoilers. So, Jenny, could I just ask you what made you want to travel space and time with an eccentric madman in a blue police box? Because he said he could travel in space and time. I mean, who would say no to that? But it's not like you had any proof of who he was or that he could do what he promised. Yeah, it probably wasn't the best idea. But, that said, the time I've spent travelling is the best part of my life. My dad didn't even try to put me off it. He encouraged me to carry on after oh my that stuff with the Daleks and Kate did that actually happen for you? yes it did I'd rather not talk about it though what about the stuff on the train in Cardiff with the Brigadier? yeah that also happened easily the weirdest day of my life you swore more than any character in the show's history in a single episode that made it in? how did you work around it? the editors just made the background noise louder when we swore it wasn't that difficult to overcome. What was the writer thinking that night? No idea. The director told us the writer was a bit tired when he wrote that script. But it was still really fun to make. That conversation with the taxi driver. The one whose brains you threatened to melt with an iPhone? Did that actually happen? <laughs> yeah, that happened. No idea how it worked, to be honest. That was one of my favourite scenes in the entire show. It was just strange. Who is the director? Because in my universe, that's my dad. Really? Well, his name's Matthew Moorcroft. He's worked on the show for years now. He's brilliant. What does he do in your universe? He's an insurance salesman. There it is. You have assisted us long enough. You have served your purpose. Oh, seriously? You're not going to shoot me. Put the gun down. Now then. After many years of torment, death and endless defeats, I win. Who has taken the orb? Are you Gallifreyan? Who are you? I am Rassilon, founding father of Gallifrey. But who are you? I am the master. No doubt you have heard of me. I have. I sent someone to stop you from getting the orb. What did you do to the Doctor? I sent his TARDIS to a parallel universe for a short amount of time. 
it wasn't even difficult to hack into his TARDIS, still using the, the same Type 40 that he ran away with all those years ago. Anyway, now your plan has failed, what will you do? There is nothing I can do. The orb and all its powers are yours. Good. Now to destroy the Earth. Although, you Cybermen, I really think you'd ought to leave. We will take the orb. Well, I warned you. How'd you get this thing to work? Do you just say, kill all Cybermen on this planet very slowly and painfully? <laughs> Make every Cyberman see who they once were as a person. Now then, where do I start? I'm going to take my time. I'll savour this moment. Now then, let's start with the earthquake in Beijing, San Francisco and Paris, followed by a tsunami in Japan, and why not have a one hit Italy and finally let the meteors hit Wales. Never liked the place. Generated. I don't even know what I look like. Don't make me get rid of Cybermen yet. I can't. Not now. Just give me five minutes. 